Hello guys, as promised, I'm gonna do the aim routine for a YouTube video. This is what I do. Basically, I close down the two walls, I open up the cage, classic team, no bullet holes and full potato. I go and I kill 300 bots this way. I try to be as precise as possible, but still keep the speed up. In this part of the routine, it doesn't really matter if I'm that precise or not, but I always go for precision <laughs> instead of going for speed. In the end, what matters is who is going to hit the headshot and who is not going to hit it. But yes, you are going to watch me get 300 kills here. I only go for bursts because I find it much better than to go for one taps. You don't need one taps. One taps are not a thing that you are gonna go and do in a, a real game scenario. Most of the times you are just gonna go for bursts or sprays, so there is no point for you to practice one taps. What you want to do when you practice your aim, it doesn't matter if you do it this way or any other way, to do it as much as possible as a real game scenario. Like, if you go onto a death match, don't start spraying, crouching every angle. You don't play like that in a match. And that's why many times it happens that people who have good KD on that match, when they join a game, they have a confidence boost since they got like, uh, I don't know, 2, 2.5 KD on that match. They think they are the best. They join the game and they lose all the duels. They lose them all. That's why I find it much more, uh, how, do, how do you even say it? Like uh, pleasurable to play aim bots because you can focus mostly on your aim without getting shot from other people like this is full time grinding your aim and this is what i do every morning when i wake up one hour before i stream like i'm if i'm going to stream at 12 i'm gonna start this routine at 10 30. so i do it for half an hour and chill for one hour and then play face it. Uh, I realized that uh, if I play instantly after I warm up, wherever I warm up, I'm going to play bad for the whole day. I'm gonna start bad on the first map. I'm gonna lose my confidence. And then it's gonna transfer to the other maps. So the most important thing to any kind of aim practices to have break before you go and play face it. It doesn't matter, like 30 minutes should be enough. I like to keep it to one hour because it uh, Helps my, my hands fully relax, so I'm ready for a whole day grind. I don't feel tired by the end of the stream. That's why, like, I try to plan my day so I get to have one hour for break before stream and 30 minutes for this. Again, I'm saying it doesn't matter when you wake up. You don't need to have a perfect sleeping schedule in order to improve. You just need to have a routine. You need to have a routine and you can choose it however you want. You don't need this one. But people were asking how I'm doing it. So that's why I tried to record it. That's it. I hit 300 bots. Now I'll go and try to strafe around the bots. I'll try to use the full size of my mouse pad. So I'm go, going from all the way to the left, all the way to the right. 
around the bots. This part I stole from Doc, the famous Twitch streamer. I know that he was doing it and that he showed it as a part of his aim routine. But uh, the way I'm using it, I don't know if it's the right way. I, cha I changed it basically so I get my hands to relax from shooting the bots. Most important thing is uh, for you to feel comfortable while doing anything. If you start feeling uncomfortable, you're gonna start not learning enough and you're gonna slow down your improvement. On that match or aimbot, it really doesn't matter where, but uh, the moment you start feeling tired, you stopped improving. Your brain is not gonna pick up the information, so that's why you need to make uh, your warm up routine or aim routine, however you want to call it, as pleasurable as possible for yourself. For me, this this exact thing relaxes my hands it uh, helps me learn how to use my whole mouse pad so for example when i am in a stress situation and i get picked from an angle that i did not expect i'm gonna be able to shoot back even if it, if i am at the end of my mouse pad so this way i'm basically learning how to track the heads of enemies and how to use my whole mouse pad nothing else and of course, as I already said, I help uh, my hands be more relaxed from killing 300 bots. I don't feel tired at all after doing this uh, this part of a uh, routine. I do four lines, basically. Like I go from right side to the left side, from left side to the right side, one more time right side to the left side and one more time left side to the right side. I try to follow all of the bots, just running smooth around them. Since for me it's much more important to be precise in CS than to be fast. You are not gonna play every game against people who are gonna first shot head shot you so you strive towards consistency and precision is consistent speed is not speed depends on too many factors and you cannot practice it uh, effectively enough that's why i focus on precision so i get the kills that i'm supposed to do and if i'm feeling it that day i'm not gonna be uh, as slow as you think <coughs> So after I am done with uh, four lines of strafing around the bots, I turn off all of the bots except one, <coughs> and then I shoot 150 kills. The way I do it is I always reset to the middle of screen and then I try to flick. Flicks do not need to be as fast as you see many people do it again the goal of this uh, aim routine is to make you more precise not to make you a spinning machine you are not a fidget spinner you are a csgo player and most of the times you are going to have a 1v1 duel, especially when it comes to playing face it. So this part of the routine is probably my favorite one. This will also help you with uh, being able to track the heads of the enemies that run out from the angle that you are holding. Like you will be smooth enough to follow the head and get the kill <clears throat> here it's important to be as precise as possible to not miss the headshot 
if you start missing too much you should refocus and lower your speed even more because over time you are gonna become faster and faster with precision speed will come eventually in one month in two months in three months for everyone it's different the only important thing is to try to be as consistent as possible and that means that there is no changing your settings no changing of a crosshair no changing of a sensitivity you simply pick something that you enjoy and you try to work on it you are not losing your duels because of the settings you are not going to be a simple level player if you copy his settings you can just go and check out the settings of professional players and you can see that most of them are playing on different settings you you can barely find the pros with the same sensitivity same resolution same crosshair like all of them have something that fits only them and they keep trying to improve on their own settings that's why you should if you feel for example like me i changed to full hd because they felt it uh better than four three stretched and they always thought like everyone is playing stretch there needs to be a reason behind it you probably have some advantage and i was forcing myself to play on stretch but it was never natural to me yes of course i never played the uh, full hd before in my life then when i start then uh, like before i started seven months ago but i played black bars and black bars was always better for me than stretch i just forced myself to try and play stretched but I never got com uh, like comfortable and confident enough as I did on Full HD. I just chose my settings and stopped changing them. That's what uh, like that's the main thing that helped me go from 0708 kill per round player to consist consistently being 09 and 1 kill per round. I'm doing this same routine for let's say past year I was changing up things like trying to play that match trying to play pistol that match to not get bored because if you do same routine over and over again you are going to get bored at one point and what you want in CS is to have fun because if you have fun your brain is more focused on impro improving and learning new things so try to keep it simple and have fun. I'm approaching the end of uh, 150 kills. When I make it, I'm gonna go again, open up the lock, put 12 bots again, and go around them once more. four lines as smooth as possible make your hand fully relaxed don't squeeze your mouse you don't want to end up with a carpal tunnel syndrome you shouldn't feel any pain while doing this if you feel any pain while you are doing this you are holding your mouse in a bad way so you should try to change it and make yourself as comfortable as possible Com uh, like if you feel comfortable you are gonna be much more consistent in the game that's why i always say to people it doesn't matter what sensitivity you play just choose one that you feel comfortable with that you are able to clear angles with that you are able to hold angles with at one point you are going to get used to it it doesn't matter if it's too high when you start practicing if it's too low when you start practicing but if you like it and if you see yourself playing with it you are gonna get used to it after a month or two of playing and it will feel like you played your whole life on it
move around bots, follow the head as much as possible, it doesn't really matter even if you lose it at some point because over time you are gonna get a better feeling of your sensitivity and your crosshair is not going to run away from the head basically. Okay, I'm done soon with this. Like from all the way to the left to the all the way to the right. This is the last line that I'm doing. Only one more bot and I'm done. <coughs> and I go back to the main lock, I open it up. I put only two bots and this is where I practice uh, spray transfer because my spray in the game is not the best. I'm trying to focus on just getting two kills and the way I did it is like I move the crosshair down to the knees of the player model and I just move it to the left and right. Like my goal is to get two kills from a spray, not more than that. Of course there are many maps like Recoil Master and uh, Code that you can practice your aim on, but honestly I'm too lazy to do it and I have an opinion that if you don't kill an enemy in the first 10 kills where you only pull down with your AK, you don't even deserve the kill. So it doesn't really matter for me where it goes from 20, like from 10th to the 30th bullet. <laughs> this one I do as well for 150 kills. It's again, like try to make your hand comfortable, don't grip your, uh, like don't squeeze your mouse. If you squeeze your mouse, your aim is gonna be more inconsistent. Like when you try to press the mouse clicks, you are gonna like move your hand from the enemy. For example, like here, if you press it too high, it will flick a bit to the left. Make yourself comfortable. Nothing else. <laughs> Don't panic in a clutch situations, in a high pressure situations. Like, try to be confident. Try to believe in yourself, in your skills. If you practice every day, at one point you are going to improve, and that's just science. There is no way that if you practice for a month or two or three, you don't play better than before you started your practice. Soon it's done. Like this, this is, I should have pulled more to, towards down and then I would get a headshot. Like if you pull to the right spot down, then you can just move your crosshair to the left and to the right and you are gonna hit the headshot eventually. Where people are wrong is they pull the crosshair too much down and that's when you see them miss most of their sprays. Like approximately it's somewhere under the knees until where you need to pull your mouse and you're always gonna be in a headshot range when you spray. That's it. As I said, 150 kills with spray. I enable again the main lock, put the 12 bots and I spin around them once more. Four lines.
like even right now from the beginning of this video until this point my uh tracking became uh much better than it was when i started it this is probably the best way for you to practice tracking in the game maybe there are some other maps that you can try to do it with like uh why pray game trainer or something like that but for me it's uh how do you say it too much uh work and you don't get that much from it i try to make uh my aim routine as lazy as possible but still be able to improve myself So just one and a half more lines and I'm done with this and then the last part of this routine will be again against uh, one bot where I try to get 50 kills without missing any any kills usually when I do it for myself if I fail one or two kills I will give myself 50 more kills and try to be even more precise but I would do it much much slower I'm reducing the speed of uh, me trying to kill the bots until I'm perfectly precise. And you have to understand, again, this is uh, all game on Source Engine. Sometimes it's not even your fault. It, it just doesn't want to register as a hit, so you cannot always blame it on yourself. But try to be as consistent as possible, as precise as possible. The speed will come in time and you are going to improve eventually. Okay, this is the last bot. Now I'll go back, open the main lock, get the 50 kills and that would be the end of the routine. So as slow as possible, try not to fail. If you fail, don't feel that bad about yourself it doesn't really matter your goal is to practice and of course it's a it's just a practice it doesn't matter if you fail you should fail in practice so you become better during the game like this i don't like this i was shaking again you see what do i mean from tilt you will start missing even the shots that you would hit 99% of the time. And this is where I would say to myself, okay, finish this 50 kills. You need to get 50 more, but even slower pace. But I'm not gonna do it in this video. It's The day is already done for me, so I'm not gonna play more. I don't mind if I fail my shots since I'm not going to use them anywhere. But try to treat aimbots as a real game scenario try to be fully focused on yourself on improvement think of this like a real match don't just go into the aim bots just to kill for example you repeat this routine just to repeat it make you make yourself as focused as possible stop messaging people just put some chill music on finish it 25 to 30 minutes it depends on <clears throat> the skill level that you have and believe me in two to three months you are gonna hit your peak performance and you're gonna play better than ever but that's it for today's video i love you all guys